Mumphy and Scarecrow followed Pinky as she flew up the winding staircase of the Queen's Palace. I'm, I'm glad you found Napoleon. But we've still got to find the Queen's magic cloak if we are to stop the Secretary's evil ways. The Queen gave us a very good description of her cloak. It's big enough to cover all the world and small enough to fit inside a thimble. Napoleon's in there! But Napoleon was nowhere to be seen. Shh! There's somebody coming! Mumphy was already trying to push over one of the cabinets to block the door. Oh, I say, when you decide to rescue someone, you don't waste any time, do you? There's no way to open this window! Then we'll just have to break the glass. Scarecrow picked up a heavy paperweight and put it in his hat. Everyone, stand back. Look, there's something in the paperweight. Scarecrow lifted out a small silver thimble. And what's inside this thimble? It's swirling and very mysterious. <gasps> it's the Queen of Night's magic cloak. You found it. That's an awfully long jump, and Napoleon will never be able to carry us all. Don't worry, I can look after myself. And I think I can come up to size. <laughs> Terry's following us. Give it back. The secretary's horrible hissing echoed all around them. Got to take evasive action. Hang on tight. In the muffled silence, they heard the swish of the secretary's cloak. At last, Napoleon felt it was safe to start moving again. The secretary was nowhere to be seen, but neither was Pinky. I hope she's all right. I recognize this place. It's the Queen of Night's Garden. A fortunate piece of navigation. You find her majesty, I'll search for Pinky. She looks so sad. We think this thimble may hold your magic cloak of dreams, your majesty. Indeed, it does. It's Pinky! What? The cloak rose out of the thimble in a cloud of sparkling mist, full of wonderful colors and shapes. It wrapped itself around the secretary like a snake until he was completely out of sight. The queen held out the thimble again, and there, in place of the secretary, was a large, empty stone inkwell. Gosh, that really is a magic cloak. And thank you for its return. Now, will you set my mother free, please? Free them all. Again, the cloak of dreams flew into the air, swirling into a great cloud that sped off towards the dungeons. Next day, when laughter and music had returned to the island, the queen held a special party in her garden. Look out, your majesty. It's all right. I've seen the error of my ways. The only orders I'll follow now are her majesty's. Shall I do the honors now, your majesty? Please. You have been trusting, kind, and courageous. 
And you have brought peace and happiness back to this island. I'm still very sorry I lost your jewel, Your Majesty. Mumphy, why don't you look in your pocket? <sighs> you may keep it, Mumphy. But it's a treasure beyond price. So it is, for those who receive it. You should get ready to go home now, Mumphy. Jones, and he's polishing the portholes as bright as a new penny. Whale is making his wish come true. Will you keep me company always, Scarecrow? We can have lots more adventures. As long as I can visit my field sometime. Of course you can. But I shall miss everyone, won't you? It would be nice to have someone to come home to. Oh, everybody has a place they think of. Maybe long ago Roam All around a world that's full of strangers There's always one place you'll know There Waiting for you in the open doorway There Like a dear familiar song Stare Into yesterday to find Sing so long Someone Who can fill a room with jars of sunlight Someone Not just anyone will do But someone Who can make a place you've never been to Feel like home Could that song than just me, Mumphy. You were all alone, and then you met me, and Whale, and Pinky, and the Admirals, and Eel, and so many others. Yes, I am lucky. Every one of my friends is that special someone. Someone with a loving heart that beats like your heart. Someone with a smile that makes you smile grow wider. Someone who can make a place you've never That someone is you. We're nearly home now. So, did you bring back something? Yes, I did. I brought the tree a present. Why don't you take a look? And what happens next, well, what do you think? <laughs> 